Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Mercedes, where team boss Toto Wolff has spoken about Kimi Antonelli's chances of getting into F1 next year. Now as we know Antonelli is Mercedes' young driver, and he's currently competing in Formula 2. Now his best result so far is being P4 in the feature race in Australia. And despite not having too much experience behind him, he has been linked to the Mercedes C next year, when Lewis Hamilton will leave the team for Ferrari. And Wolf seems quite happy to have Antonelli in the car next year. He said, I'm really keen and happy to see him in a Formula 1 car. He's been with us since he was 11. I have a picture of him standing next to me on the centre console as a baby boy in go-karting. And now to witness that development into a Formula 1 driver is something I'm really proud of. Now given Mercedes are in a tough spot right now, such a move can be seen as a risk, given the lack of experience. But Mercedes have been struggling for pace in the first four races of the season and are currently fighting Aston Martin for fourth place in the constructors while McLaren are comfortably in third. And with Mercedes pushing to get back to the front, I think they need a proven race winner in the car. Like they'll need to have someone with experience to know exactly what's what with the car which will be crucial in helping the team develop going forward. And one driver who fits that description is Carlos Sainz. As we know he's looking for a drive next year and it's been reported in an Italian publication that Sainz and Mercedes want each other. But apparently their contract demands are different, like it's been reported Sainz wants a two fixed years contract with the option for a third, while Mercedes would apparently go towards one year with the option for the second under certain conditions. Now I can understand that from Mercedes if that's the case, like they'll want Antonelli in the car at some point for sure and may not want to leave it too long. And even though Sainz wants longer, it could work for him, because he could do one year, and if that turns out to be it, he could then go to Aldi, which comes into the sport in 2026. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care.